Hi, I'm Fraser Douglas, the avid tent camper. In this video, I want to show you how Ava and I try to camp in as much comfort as possible. And so I'm going to show you around our campsite and show you various different features that the park offers and that we bring from our home and combine to make a very comfortable camp out. It's the last week in September, and Ava and I have come up to Thames Ford State Park, which is in southern Tennessee. We'll be staying here four nights with our grandson, and so we want to be as comfortable as possible. We're in site number 27. You'll notice that Ava's washing our breakfast dishes in the background. You'll see that we've got a water spigot right here at our campsite. And we have an electrical outlet. And with our extension cord, we can uh, run lights over there at our tarp, which is in the distance. Or we can run the extension cord up to our tent, uh, as we have right now. Uh, so overnight, we run it up to the tent so that we can charge our cell phones and the iPad and other devices. You'll notice that our tent is sitting on an elevated tent pad so we don't have to worry about flooding during heavy rains. In fact, every campsite in this campground has an elevated 15 by 20 foot tent pad. The park also offers Wi-Fi throughout the campground. You'll notice that we've got a couple of hammocks set up. Let me uh, walk up and get a little bit closer. Here's my hammock, where I relax, take a nap almost every day. And here's Ava's hammock. You'll notice that there's a playground there in the distance. And uh, our grandson, little Lalo, will be coming up this afternoon. And I'm sure he will enjoy playing on that playground. When he first arrived at the campground, the playground was the first place he wanted to go, and he very quickly started clowning around. Back behind our campsite, is a bathroom, has hot showers and flush toilets, so it's just a short walk through a few trees over here to our campsite. Let me show you inside of our tent. <laughs> Ava said it's a mess, but uh, it looks good to me. You'll see we've got two beds set up right now, but we'll have a third bed when our grandson gets here. The bed on this side is my side, and under the bed we have a wool blanket. We've got a part of a carpet that we use for stepping into the tent. And I have uh, two mattresses. Uh, first of all is a yoga mat, and then on top of the yoga mat is a camp bed, an REI camp bed that's three and a half inches thick. And so I've got roughly four inches of bedding under me that's very insulated. At night, there's my sleeping bag, and Ava's sleeping bag is the green one. Last night, uh, the temperature was just right at the point where I felt a little cool without the sleeping bag covering my legs, but too hot with the sleeping bag covering my legs. So I woke up several times trying to adjust the right coverage to achieve maximum comfort. You'll see we got a carpet over against the other door, and we've got a light hanging from the ceiling of our tent, a tent light. And then, like I say, we can bring our electric cord into the tent at night for charging our cell phones and our iPad. In cool weather, we'll use that electric cord to power our electric space heater. Now we've got our dining fly set up in case it rains. We're expecting a front to come through here tonight. 
but I've just concluded that the dining fly is too far away from our cooking and eating area. And so sometime today or tomorrow, I'm planning to move that fly up to about that spot right there. Here it is in the new position. Here's our food preparation area. You'll see we've got a table with a couple of milk crates that we use for storage turned on their side and they make a nice uh, cabinets to hold our stuff when we're not uh, cooking. And we've got a variety of pots and pans and uh, uh, utensils. Here's my chair uh, sitting by the fire and here's Ava's chair and there's little Lalo's chair up under the table right now when he gets here. Uh, I've got a wood splitting area right here. This is a tree round that I bring from the house. And you'll see I've been splitting some firewood. We cooked our breakfast this morning. We had eggs and grits and bacon and tortillas that we cooked over the campfire. And the campfire is slowly burning out now. This photo was taken a little bit earlier. We cooked our bacon and eggs in a cast iron skillet and we cooked our grits in the billy pot. It was a great breakfast. Ava, here's our table. And Ava's been washing dishes. I need to get over there and start drying here. That's my job. When little Lalo gets here, he'll bring his little scooter and he'll enjoy riding on the campground roads with his helmet, of course, uh, and riding around the loop. There's uh, some other campsites. Not, any, not too many people here today, uh, Thursday morning, but I've been told that the campground is completely full this weekend. We'll have some friends that will be coming and staying setting up their tent on that tent pad uh, tomorrow afternoon. Just a little bit more. We keep our food in the back of the car at all times, except when we get something out to cook to avoid animal scavenger problems. And right beside the back of the car, we have a little roll top table that is very helpful for uh, putting stuff, putting some food on it temporarily while we're searching for another uh, food item. I've just started a fire and while uh, I'm waiting for the fire to develop a good bed of coals, I've got a pot of water heating up so that we'll have hot water to uh, make tea or coffee or hot chocolate. And uh, we'll have plenty of hot water to wash our dishes after we finish eating. We're gonna be eating pancakes and bacon this morning for breakfast. Wish you could join us. Well, I hope this video gives you some ideas about how you might be able to make your future camping trips a little more comfortable.
Yeah. That's a power of the spider. He said, no, you kill. You don't call power, you kill. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, take more trips, travel further, visit more attractions and save money. Go tent camping.